Hi, welcome to the news for Monday the 4th of March 2013. I've been particularly rubbish with the news over the last couple of months, I apologise, I really will try get to try and get back into it uh, properly. Uh, also the last couple of weeks I've been travelling quite a lot so I'm afraid the uh, conduct... Uh, <laughs> What am I trying to say? The volume of uploads has shrunk somewhat, but don't worry, with Tomb Raider I'll be getting back on it. There's also a couple of games on Steam that I want to check out, thanks to Josh Baggy for pointing out March of the Eagles, which I'm probably going to have a look at in a minute after I finish the last level of Crisis 3. But more on Crisis 3 in a minute. First up, Tomb Raider. Uh, I have just mentioned it, but that's out later today and I'll be playing through that. I haven't played a Tomb Raider game in quite some time and I'm kind of excited about this. I've tried to avoid too many previews for games because I don't like to know what's going to go on or have the story spoiling. Although, as you spoiling? <laughs> spoiled. Although, as you might know, I'm also really rubbish at following the story in any of the games I play. I sort of switch off when there's any plot related stuff and then wonder why I'm chasing after some MacGuffin or other. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on Tomb Raider. Curious to hear if you guys are as excited as I am about it. It's possibly just because after Dead Space 3 there's not a lot out at the moment. Um, anyway, in other news, Assassin's Creed 3 Black Flag has been announced. This is a follow up to Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, or at least Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I don't know if it's Assassin's Creed 3 Black Flag. Apparently there's eight studios working on the content for it, which I can believe. It's going to be focused, I think, quite heavily around naval battles, although there's three big cities to explore, as I understand. Uh, and frankly, naval battles, apart from some of the hideous optional objectives, and you know the ones I'm talking about, Giant and the Storm, uh, are a lot of fun. Were a lot of fun, so I'm excited about that. I don't know if this screenshot's from Black Flag or just Assassin's Creed 3, but I found it, so I'm using it. Uh, but you'll get the idea. Uh, I will update more news as it's released, but I'll be wary of putting out spoilers. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're excited about Assassin's Creed 3 too. Um, Assassin's Creed 3 too? Assassin's Creed Black Flag as well. <laughs> wow. Okay, with spoilers in mind, uh, Crisis 3. There are a few spoilers coming up here, so look away now if you don't want to see them. But uh, this game's been an interesting one. Um, it's had its moments. Uh, I've sort of enjoyed it. It's a bit short. Um, that boss battle was a bit weird. Uh, but kind of interesting. But the graphics are just ridiculous. And so if for nothing else, I'm kind of glad I played it for that. It's a bit like Avatar. Avatar was not a great film. But I'm glad I saw it just because it was pushing the envelope so hard on what's possible with um, computer-generated computer -generated graphics in films. Anyway, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Crisis 3 if you've played it. I think it's one of the first games I'm tempted to upload a review for. I don't know if there'll be an appetite for that, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's the news. I'll push out some more on Wednesday and start to get this a bit more timely. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Bye!